Given the polynomial f of x is equal to x cubed minus ax squared plus bx plus 24 has factors x plus 3 and x minus 2, find the values of a and b and the other linear factor. Hence, solve the equation x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus 24 is equal to 0 and sketch the graph of y is equal to f of x. So, writing down our function, so what we've got to find is the value of a and the value of b. Now, normally, if there's two unknowns, the sort of uh, way to go about it is to try and form simultaneous equations. So, if x plus 3 is a factor, then f of minus 3, whatever makes that 0, will be equal to 0 because of the factor theorem. So, if we substitute in minus 3, we get minus 3 cubed plus a times minus 3 squared, plus b times minus 3, plus 24 is equal to 0. Minus 3 cubed is minus 27. Minus 3 squared is plus 9a. Minus 3b plus 24 is equal to 0. So collecting that together, we're going to get that 9a minus 3b, and then minus 27 plus 24 is minus 3 is equal to 0. 9a minus 3b is equal to 3. Divide through by 3, we're going to get 3a minus b is equal to 1. We'll call that equation 1. Now, if x minus 2 is a factor, then f of 2 would be equal to 0 because of the factor theorem. So we've got 2 cubed plus a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus 24 is equal to 0. 2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4, so plus 4a, plus 2b, plus 24 is equal to 0. So we've got 4a plus 2b, 8 plus 24 is 32, is equal to 0. 4a plus 2b is equal to minus 32. Divide through by 2, we're going to get 2a plus b is equal to minus 16. We'll call that equation 2. So we've got our two equations, we can now solve them simultaneously. So we're going to write down the uh, function. So solving simultaneously, so we've got 3a minus b is equal to 1 and 2a plus b is equal to minus 16. So by elimination, by adding, we're going to get 3a plus 2a is 5a, minus b plus b is nothing, 1 minus 16 is minus 15. Dividing through by 5, we're going to get that a is minus 3. If we substitute into probably 2, it would be the easier. We're going to have that 2 times minus 3 plus b is equal to minus 16, because a is equal to minus 3. Minus 6 plus b is equal to minus 16, it gives me b is minus 10. So we've got a is minus 3, b is minus 10, and therefore we've got f of x is x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24. Now, if x plus uh, 3 and x minus 2 are factors, so that becomes x squared plus minus 6, so if we use polynomial division into that, we might be able to find the other linear factor, or we look at 3 times minus 2, which is minus 6, and what times minus 6 will give 24, which is probably a little bit easier than doing this polynomial division. And now it's good practice, x cubed divided by x squared gives me x, x times x squared gives me x cubed, x times x gives me x squared, x times minus 6 gives me minus 6x. Doing the subtraction, nothing from here. Minus 3 minus 1x gives me minus 4x squared. So minus 3x squared minus 1x squared gives me minus 4x squared. Minus 10 minus minus 6 gives me minus 4x. Bring down the 24 and then do minus 4x squared by divided by x squared gives me minus 4. Multiplying it minus 4 times x squared, which is minus 4x. Minus 4 times x gives me minus 4x. Minus 4 times minus 6 is 24. No remainder, which is what we expected. So the other linear factor is x minus 4. But we could have worked out by doing what do I have to multiply minus 6 by to get my plus 24. And the answer is minus 4. So this uh, x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24 can be rewritten as x plus 3, x minus 2, x minus 4. So we had to now solve that equation. So to solve it, we would factorise it. So we've already factorised it. 
and then that's going to give me x is equal to minus 3, x is equal to 2, x is equal to 4. For the sketch, if we draw a set of y-axis, so we can put on these points, x is minus 3, x is equal to 2 minus 2, Sorry, x is equal to 2, and x is x is equal to 4. I beg your pardon there. So x is minus 3, x is equal to 2, and x is equal to 4 from here. Where does it cut the y-axis? Well, you can either do minus 3 times 2 times 4, which gives you 24. Or you can get it straight from this point here, which is 24. They don't have to be the same scale as just a sketch. Now, as x goes to minus infinity, if you cube a negative number, it is negative number. So it, the graph starts down here. Minus infinity, y, x goes to minus infinity, y goes to minus infinity. Likewise, if you do x goes to plus infinity, then y will go to plus infinity if you cube a positive large number. So the graph starts here and ends here. There's no repeated root. So it must go through these points. The maximum must be slightly higher than 24. So my sketch will look something like that. And it's only a sketch labeling it y is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24. So this has been a video about trying to find constants of a cubic function and then using the idea to find uh, a, the, the remaining linear function in order to factorize it to find where the curve cuts the x-axis and then being able to sketch it. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.